Hey everybody. So I've been talking less and less about like AI geometry overall on my channel, uh, because to me it's, it's solved. <laughs> like that's kind of the bottom line within it, right? First of all, I'm not the only person. I'm far from the only person that is researching like AI geometry and everything around it at this point. And then, um, secondarily, like everything that I see, uh, there's several different advancements that I see around it that just lead me to believe that this is the right track. Uh, and it, it solves by like, multiple people have gone down this track multiple people have like um, arguments i see just more and more research coming out around this overall <laughs> and then this was shared with me today by a group of researchers this particular group of researchers it's interesting like i think like my assumption up front is that they probably think i don't like them <laughs> but i do i follow their research overall right um and then um within this uh they, like, they um uh, have created essentially this this model called the renormalization group and then it's applied to algebraic expression and geometry networks the creator of this this particular model very specifically uh, we introduce a novel neural network architecture that combines renormalization group rg principles with algebraic expression geometry aeg theory our rg aeg model achieves 98.48 percent accuracy on mnist and that's modest like uh they ended it early <laughs> i'll show you uh, with 7780 parameters, and I, I match that, uh, surpassing the original AEG V3 benchmark of 98.2% with 702 parameters. This work demonstrates how hierarchical scale decom decomposition with complex valued geometric transformations can enhance neural network efficiency and interpretability. The bottom line, like the more interesting thing is the introduction. AEG theory posits that arithmetic expressions form a geometric space, enabling efficient neural architectures through complex valued operations. We extend this framework by incorporating RG principles, creating a hierarchical architecture that processes information at multiple scales with progressive disentanglement. That first sentence is very important. AEG theory posits that arithmetic expressions form a geometric space, enabling efficient neural architectures through complex valued operations. This is a group of individuals. So these individuals, um, they their background is very similar to mine, actually, like kind of shockingly, right? Um, which is a lot of like um, business process management uh, for like uh, big four consulting firms. Uh, the, some of them are based in Silicon Valley, some like in the UK, et cetera, right? But it's a, a lot of uh, tech consulting uh, with like phys some physics backgrounds mixed into there, <laughs> like uh, kind of an interesting, like, I mean, it just, you know, uh, there's a certain dynamic that thinks about these things, I guess, overall, right? Um, and then so they, they release everything with regards towards their framework, the code, like all of the code and everything, right? And then so, um, within this, like the first thing to note within the code is that there's a, uh, pip install package. So the pip install this particular package, which, which is Weight Watcher, right? Uh, and it's very specifically Weight Watcher, one word and not Weight Watchers. Um, uh, what exactly is that? Um, this is their, like, this is their big thing, right? Like, uh, 1.6k stars. And then so I just want to highlight it and show Okay, so overall, this is like their their uh, main research, um, and then Weight Watcher is an open source diagnostic tool for analyzing deep neural networks without needing access to training or even test data. It is based on theoretical research into why deep learning works, based on our theory of heavy tailed self regularization. It uses ideas from random matrix theory, statistical mechanics, and strongly correlated systems. It can be used to analyze pre trained PyTorch Keras DNN models, monitor models in the model layer predict test accuracies across different models, detect potential problems with it when compressing or fine-tuning pre-trained models, and then give you later warning labels. Going through, um, so their model is built on top of Weight Watchers. This model that we're, this RG norm flow model that we're looking at, or RG AEG <laughs> that we're looking at, is built uh, on top of Weight Watchers, right? So the very first thing that we're doing is we're installing and, and we're pip installing and bringing in their Weight Watchers package. Uh, and then like a lot of it's just like matplotlib, torch vision, um, overall like a, a few other packages there right and then so we create the neural network and then again it's uh so this is a like an eight thousand parameter neural network <laughs> like this is like uh could literally fit on like um uh like a commodore 64 no problem right like 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 uh i can't state how small that is in in comparison to a normal model eight thousand parameters is what we're looking at overall within this right um and then it's a lot of math and a lot of code here to build this out right but it's eight thousand it's an eight thousand parameter model uh so 
what does this framework do? Like, what's all of this math? If I were to like simplify this overall for you, uh, so kind of the bottom line. So their introduction very specifically lays it out, right? That AEG theory posits that arithmetic equations form a geometric space. Uh, and then uh, I've done research into <laughs> this exact area before too, right? And I have my like Zyra resonance models that are based off of this, where essentially uh, there's when you take a data set, there's an abstraction of the data set, which is the geometric space that is formed by the data set in this instance, like, like just proving that concept out more and more, right? So what is this abstraction, this crazy abstraction layer that exists from the data set, right? It's the abstraction layer is literally a geometric space that gets created from the algebra itself. It's a, it's a space. It has physics associated with it. It becomes a geometric space purely based off of algebra. I don't know why I don't, I didn't do it. Like this is how it works, right? Um, and then so within that, uh, we're essentially modeling and making sure and, and accounting for this space that exists and then essentially measuring the, the space, right? Allowing the model to, to zoom in and out of this particular geometric space and this particular geometric shape. <laughs> and, and rather than uh, like going and uh, training the model off of the labels, we're training the model off of the, the underlying shape, right? Like, I mean, everything that I've talked about previously on this channel with regards towards this particular subject, right? Like, I'm not like, I, again, I'm not the only person barking up this tree at this instance, which is like why I've like, I, like, I'm kind of like, at this point, I feel comfortable, right? <laughs> I, like, I, like, I will never be the one that's going to have my name on like a, um, a, a huge smashing breakthrough. Like, I'm like, I don't care enough, right? That's the bottom line. I, like, uh, plain and simple. Like, uh, I'm, uh, if I knew like 100%, if I knew 100% right now, like how to unify like um, quantum physics and, and classical physics, like, and, and if I had like any inkling around like all of those larger things, I wouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> like, I, my name isn't going to be on these advancements overall, right? I've done my part. Um, people like my Zyra models. There's uh, like a lot of research with like uh, my uh, resonance research has gone forward, etc. I feel. Uh, I, I, I've authored books on AI geometry. <laughs> I, I feel I have done my part within this. I feel now it is proven. Um, it's being proven out more and more. Uh, my job is done. <laughs> it's kind of how I look at this now. And then so now I'm just looking at this cool model that uh, this other research team has put together, right? Uh, and then so uh, we look at their model again. It's a lot of math <laughs> for, for for their model, uh, and it's a lot of algebraic math if you're if you're interested in that. Like because um, so like these particular authors and a lot of these like uh, researchers that deep researchers that I, I um, interact with, they're very big on like algebra, like uh, algebraic geometry <laughs> is like how I would phrase it. Right. And then like, that, that's like, like um, everyone goes down these same paths for these same reasons. It's kind of like the bottom line, right? Like once you start understanding like, okay, like, like a geometry, algebra geometry, like we need to bridge the gap. Uh, once you do that, then you, like they have their weight watchers and they go from weight watchers to this. I go from that to AI geometry to resonance, right? Everyone goes on their path within that, but it's all understanding that same exact path. Um, and then, so we go through, um, and then like, again, just, uh, you can go through all that's a ton of code, right? Um, but here we go. So we, we've trained the model. Um, and then at this point, um, I, I get, I, uh, set the model up. So total parameters, exactly as the research paper says, 700, 7,780 parameters, uh, and then beautiful loss, right? And then, so I start off and then that my, my best accuracy immediately is 95% on the first, like, uh, just starting off within the first epoch, I hit 97%, 97.86 after two. I'll just keep going down because I went up to 15, right? Um, and then so uh, at Where's our actor? Uh, 99, 99.7%. Uh, 99 uh, so 99.7%, 90, 98.52% uh, accuracy on a test. So there you go. 98.5% accuracy with under 8K parameters. 98.52% accuracy. 7,780 parameters. There it is. Like, I mean, plain, plain and simple, right? I'm like, I can't wait for people to say that it's clickbait and that like, you know, oh, what's this guy talking about? What, whatever people are going to say about it. But like, one, this isn't my research overall. Two, there's a lot of people that, you know, uh, here you go. This is the, the basis for it, right? Uh, 1.6K stars. You can 
uh, rip into all these contributors. They're like across the world. You can find them wherever. Um, and then so um, there you go, right? And then so here's all of the Weight Watcher analysis. This is exactly what uh, Weight Watcher does. It runs into some errors here. <laughs> uh, and then you can see uh, to check the documentation there. But so uh, overall, I trained the model overall. Um, and then we get the accuracy, right? Um, and then so there we go. Um, proving exactly what they stated within the research paper. Overall, test accuracy of 98%, train accuracy of 99.70. Like, I mean, almost 100% accuracy on train, uh, and then 98.5 on test. Uh, it, the statistics don't lie. I'll leave a link to this collab notebook uh, as well as the GitHub repository here for this model. Um, and then if you want to, it's like uh, search the other one. It's just a Weight Watcher, Weight Watcher one word with uh, uh, nothing um, like nothing else. And then it's by calculated content. Um, and then this is uh, the renormalization group applied to algebraic expression geometry networks. Uh, if you like this other content, please like subscribe. Thank you very much.